Yeah. Let's go. 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 let us go let us go couple of blokes like Lysett and that who have, um, you know, we're just making sure they're okay before we finalise our side. So it's pretty much Scott and Travis, the main two? Yeah, they're pretty much the blokes will come in and the people who have been in the sample who have been in good form, you know, from a, um, you know, obviously there's, I'm just trying to think off the, off the top of my head, um, yeah, obviously Pep played last time, uh, Sutcliffe, those type of players, uh, Trav, Paddy, you know, they're the type of people that we're talking about. So Trav's good to go, he's fine? Yeah, well, uh, hopefully he's fine. At this stage, he trained fine today, so there should, should be any problems. Oh, hello. <laughs> yes, yeah, so obviously, we, we saw the warm-ups, but didn't see the rest of the session, so you, you hope that Lysette and, and Boat will be OK? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty... Look, I'm, I'm very confident they'll be OK. That's as close as telling you I think they're going to play. I think they're going to play, but, yeah. you know, because it's only Thursday, we're going to train again Saturday. Was We didn't run Scotty much today, deliberately. It wasn't because we he couldn't. It's just because we deliberately waited. So do you name him and make a final? Yeah, no, he'll be named. Saturday? Yeah, he'll be named. Okay. Him Pepper. and Trav will both be named. Sam Pepper, will he... Yeah, he'll be, he'll be named. Yeah. So we haven't finalised the squad, <laughs> so I can't tell... Normally, I can, can sit here and tell you the side, but it's normally Thursday, and this is one of the few... We haven't had that many Sunday games, to be honest, so we... Today's a day where I can't quite give you everything you were asking for. Squad-wise, I mean, you mentioned Sutcliffe. Is he, will he be now? Uh, yeah, he'll be in the squad. Yep, yeah, he'll be in the squad. I'm trying to think of all the, all the players in the squad right now. Because we've, um, we've got Boat coming back into it, you know, well, he's, he's, I sort of take him as an he's in the side. Uh, so we've got to work our way through the rest of the people who are available for us. And so Paddy will be in the squad. Yeah. You know, obviously to cover for Lysert. Um, those are the type of things that will happen. So Sutcliffe, is he a real chance or is he his cover? You know, he's a real chance. He's been playing really good footy, and along with a lot of the Magpies boys, uh, anyone we name in the squad's a real chance. What what role would you see him playing? Oh, like, why have you been impressed with him? Well, clearly he's been playing a number of roles for us in the, in the Magpies, whether that be... He, he's played in all three parts of the ground, to be fair. He's played on ball, he's played down back, and he's played, you know, in the forward line. He's kicked goals, so he gives us a lot of a lot of opportunities, a lot of flexibility. And he's worked damn hard, let's be honest. He was mid-season draft, so to do what he's done and get himself in a position where he's now considered seriously for AFL selection is great credit. Couple of illnesses this morning. I think it was Houston and Ryder. Yeah, yeah, both a little bit, little bit crook, not too bad. Um, winter time, they got colds pretty much, and, and they'll be fine. But you know, unless something drastically changes, I suspect they'll be okay. Ken, okay, this challenge against Brisbane, obviously flying. They beat the Giants away last week. How do you rate them? Oh, top four side. And, you know, if you look at their whole season, there and their, their their body work would suggest that they are a really good side, and they've done everything they can possibly do. And you know, we had a great game with them up there, to be fair, in round three, yeah, round three, you know, where we got, got ourselves back in front really late in the game and, you know, they kicked the last three goals of the game to get a, you know, a, a reasonable margin. But I think, you know, I think Fags was after the game saying that was a game he felt like perhaps we, we could have lost and we should have won, but that didn't happen. They got the four points. I checked the ladder. You, you wouldn't be shattered if it would, uh, didn't play, I guess? No, not after six straight. I think he might have got last time. So, yeah, well, we don't wish anyone to miss and injuries is a part of the game. But, you know, from our point of view, we have to deal with who, who they put out in the park. And I know that whoever they put out in the park are a very good side. You don't get to where they are on the ladder off the back of one or two players. And Neil had 43 last night. Uh, That's correct, yes. Very accurate. <laughs> oh, I think every side in the competition has tried. I don't think it's worked very successfully at all at any stage. So, you got to, as a team, you've got to limit the damage that their team does to us. And, you know, Lockie's one part of their team, but so is Zorko, so is McCluggage, so is Martin, so is Hodge, Rich, there's so many there. Charlie Cameron, such a good team now, they've really developed quickly. Has Sutcliffe had some run with, run with roles in the sample? Is that something you could well, do? Yeah, he can, but he's done, he's done that at, at other levels, but he certainly can do that, but he can also play all, all parts of the ground. Can you try to tag him this week? Or we try to stop those midfielders every week. Unfortunately, sometimes they, they get away from you. In our midfield group, we back them in against other midfield groups and sometimes it, it works for you and sometimes it, it hasn't worked for us and clearly you know some, a couple of our most recent losses we we haven't haven't been able to control the opposition's best midfield player that well and so it's a challenge for our midfield group to try and control you know Lockie Neal, Zorko, whoever it might be in their midfield group that we're trying to control. How important Kent to go two in a row? I think it's been win-loss, win-loss for a couple of months now. Just Reasonably. Yeah. Reasonably. It's that time of the year too. It's, it's really important but obviously you know 
All we can do is get ourselves the opportunity to do it again and, and, and try and achieve it again. And that's what we set out to do every week and, and we'll be doing our absolute best again this week to get it done. And I'm you know, really confident that we can get it done. I really believe in the team. I think the team's, you know, building and been really solid over a good period of time now. And unfortunately, there's been a couple of losses in amongst some really good performances. Has anything changed this week, Ken, in terms of your preparation coming off a win, you know, given the win loss, win loss trend of a couple of months? No, not really. We've got a different draw because we've got eight days off. So that, that certainly gives us a different look and a different feel. So we've done some different, you know, we haven't done much different, but we've trained, you know, Tuesday and we're trained again Thursday. We get to do a little bit more on Saturday. So we'll, we'll get an opportunity to train a touch more, but we've been pretty solid with our training program right through. So I don't think much will change there. It'll be, it'll be more about the performance again on Sunday afternoon. Is it very much in the mental space, you know, keeping players or anything like that? No, no, no more than we normally do. We, we do a pretty consistent week every week and we try not to chase what we call the wheel and that's, you know, trying to catch up to everything all the time. We, we try to keep it pretty consistent and we do that pretty well. If everyone's fit, is it just, are you just looking at Trav in? I mean, ideally you'd reward the blokes that perform so well on the showdown. Is that the only... I'd love to be able to tell you now, but I can't tell you that now. In an ideal situation? No, nah, yeah, in an ideal situation, we pick the team that we can to beat Brisbane. That's what we're going to try and do, and that's that's our challenge as a group. And certainly, Travis will come in. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> if he gets through and he's fit, he'll come in. Whether we make one or two or three changes, over, m my history would suggest that we don't make too many changes off a winning for formula. So, I don't think we'll go too far away from that. So, for the last second, Bokey to just get through tomorrow or train Saturday and get through that. Oh, Bokey done enough today. You know, you didn't, as you said, you didn't get to see, but he trained enough today at a pink hat on, which means he's no contact, but he'd done all the, all the last drill, which is a 20 minute drill, and he did it very well. How pleased uh, were you to hear about the youngsters? Not that it was ever in doubt, but you know, the young blokes committing their future. Yeah, it is, it's always pleasing because it's an en endorsement of your program and what we do, and, you know, and the fact that we've brought them in. You know, three of them are in their first year and the other couple are in, uh, haven't been here for that long. So you go, it's a great endorsement for the program, for the whole club and for the people who work within the club. And, you know, to have people who want to commit, who, uh, you know, I think there's only one South Australian in that group of five boys that re-signed. It's a great credit to our club. I think I saw Darren Burgess floating around. You did? Yeah. yeah, you did see the great man out there. Yeah, Joe was there. Good to have him. I mean, he's not in an official capacity, but could he do anything leading in the finals? Or it's all, you can't because it's okay. No, 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 we've got great people in our program, that, and which Darren trained up really well. He's just here as a visit. He's just purely w walked in and saying hello to a lot of people. who has got a lot of friends here at our footy club. Ken, you set Dan Houston for best last week, did a really good job. Ryan Burton. No. I think you may have felt that wrong. Yep. Um, who do you go for Cameron this week? Uh, well, I think one of the well, Ryan Burton probably, uh, Dan Houston possibly, uh, Darcy Byrne Jones, maybe. Again, it, for us, we as you can have seen when you watch us play, we don't really lock away in position as much as uh, some sides. We tw we tend to be a bit more arrange the group around where the group's strengths are, and that's what we do most weeks. Have you seen uh, Paddy Sandford? Paddy. Yeah, no, he's been he's been really strong. Like he's he's in pretty good form, Pat. He's um, you know, we've made some decisions a few weeks back that you know, and Scotty's doing everything he should be to keep his spot and, and protect his spot. But Scott knows that Paddy's sitting there waiting. He also knows that Pete Laddams is sitting there waiting. And uh, I don't know whether you've noticed that we've got Sam Hayes also just back on the comeback trail, which we have you know really high hopes for a you know really bright future for Sam. Can you play the two of them this way if, Pat, if Scott's a bit sore? Yeah, we could absolutely play the two. We've we've said before we're not abandoning two rucks. We 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 need to make sure that 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 second player has the ability to impact more as a forward, and that's what Dougal's been able to do with Charlie back in the side. We've been pretty comfortable with that. So the likelihood of Scott and Ryder being in the side together is probably unlikely. What has Paddy done to regain some form? Oh, he's just done what he does. It's a, he's played really strong football in the sample. He's rucked really well. He's he's hit the scoreboard. He's done everything that we'd expect him to do at that level. Um, you know, his challenge is that there's, there's people in the way at the moment who are keeping them keeping their spot, and that's what they should do. How do you rate the lines midfield? <coughs> Obviously, when you've had your wins, you've had dominant midfield display, um, not quite as strong in the losses. How do you rate the lines midfield this week? Yeah, well, any side, Andrew, that sits in the top four, you, you, the game's won and lost more often than not from a dominance of your midfield, and they've got a really strong one, and they've got a, you know, an emerging one that's got, you know, obviously Lockie and, uh, you know, Zorko are, are pretty established players. We've got McCluggage and younger players, Barry, who are coming through. They've got a good ruckman in Martin. They've got good wingmen. They've got great flexibility, and they put a lot of people through there. So they're a really strong midfield group who, who run real hard. So we're going to have some work cut out for us. How uh, how did you rate Sam Duncan's performance? Had five minutes, pretty much to know that he was going to play. Yeah, he played. And, and he come on and does a pretty good game. Would be a bit stiff to 
Absolutely, he'd be stiff to miss out. Absolutely, he would be stiff to miss out. But he played, he, he got a lucky lucky opportunity and he took it and he made the most of it and he played really well. Not, not only did he play okay, he played really well and had a significant you know impact for us in the game and particularly early, he got the game rolling a little bit for us. So, but Sam, uh, you know, he understands it and he lives with Trav. So he's probably got first-hand knowledge of whether Trav's better than, than, than I do. So he probably, um, he may be trying to hurt him at home, I'm not sure, but uh, you know, let's let's hope that uh, Trav gets through and, and Sam still gets an opportunity, but we'll work our way through it. So it's not Trav for Sam, that would be the swap that you wouldn't have made? No, it could be, but we haven't, as I said, I'm going to say it again, I tell you pretty much all the time, we haven't done it, so it hasn't been locked away as yet, so I'm, I'm going through that and going with the coaches and you know we'll, we'll sit down this afternoon, basically when we finish here, and we'll we'll lock away what we think we're going to have and then we'll, we'll pick the team to suit. Is this week a, uh, a stepping stone in gaining more trust from your group in terms of backing up a, a win and becoming that sort of yeah, no, that, team. Purely from a win-loss thing, I think that's a reasonable thing to say, but from my point of view, as I've said all along, I, I trust the group. I think the group's a better group. I think they're a, you know, a really talented group who've got opportunities in front of them. They've got to take those opportunities and, and us collectively as a club, we have to make those opportunities and make them count. And there's another chance for us to do that. But can you rely on for consistent performances week in, week out? Yeah, we can. We can rely on it, but we the competition says suggests at the moment that, that we win and we lose. We win and we lose. So that's just the reality of the competition. But we're not the only team in the comp, I keep saying that, that have had some problems winning every week. It's such an even competition. We're playing a team who's in the top four. We've got a real challenge on our hands. Won't surprise me if we win. It will disappoint me if we lose. You were really attacking, especially in that second half, a lot of you know, overlapping handballs, that sort of thing. Brisbane were really attacking too against GWS. Expect them to be a bit of a, a shootout on Sunday. Should be, it sh- yeah, weather permitting, it should be a good game, and both teams play um, you know, with high energy, and both teams, uh, you know, like to, like to move the ball quite quickly. So that'll be a, an opportunity for us, but also a challenge, won't it? With defensively, you've got to be, you know, that's normally what happens. If defensively you're, you're strong, your offensive stuff does enough for you. But more importantly, if your defence is not strong, you'll be in trouble. Do you think last couple of these days it feels like coaches are sort of unwilling to roll the dice to kick a winning score until sort of late in the game. It seems like a bit of fencing for a few quarters before the game opens up. As coaches, do you feel that way a little bit? No, I don't. That's not to speak on my own behalf. I don't feel like that. I feel like we um, we challenge our boys to go for it right from the start of the game and we like to uh, play, as I said, I've said at the start, we play bold and aggressive football. We're not going to go away from that. We make some mistakes doing that. We get that. But we, we certainly set out at the start of every game to be as aggressive as we are at the start as we are at the end. Can you prove that you're one of the better teams this weekend if you can back up your showdown win with a victory against Brisbane? No, I'm not. I'm not sure. I think the competition keeps throwing up surprises. I said this uh, three weeks ago. I said there'll be some significant surprises in the next 10 weeks. And I'll say it again today. There'll be significant surprises. There'll be moments where you feel like you're going good. And there'll be moments where you feel like, oh, gee, we've got to, we better get this right or we're in all sorts of trouble. So the competition's like that. Do you get a sense of where you are this weekend compared to maybe coming off the, the win over Geelong going into the Bulldogs game? Or is it sort of from the mindset of the group? Or is it not something you can get too much of a handle on during the week? No, not so much during the week. I think we've been pretty even. I think we've been pretty consistent. The Bulldogs game was a, was a challenge for us, there's no doubt, but there were some, some significantly challenging conditions in that game that, that caused us some problems as well. But, you know, if we think back to bef- the Geelong game and we think back to the Adelaide game and we think back to, I think, before that may have been China game or something, we, we've been pretty solid. We haven't been as solid as we'd like, as everyone else would like us to be too. We're trying. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.